Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. It's after 3 a.m. I am still alive. Uh, we're currently looking at, I think, 43 hours and 35-ish minutes remaining for the 10K subathon. If you haven't made it out yet, stop out. Preferably when I'm not asleep. That's the ideal uh, that we like to strive for here at uh, youtube.com slash kcbbrian. Uh, we are going to be looking at the Hero Tracker. It's a big month. There's a lot going on. A lot of stuff has happened. Um, I'm hoping that I was semi-coherent when I put it together. Fingers crossed. So let's take a look. I know a lot of people are probably summoned. The banner currently is a little bit, like, stacked. So, uh, if this is not important to you, that's totally fine. But... If you're wondering when stuff comes back, what it's paired up with at that time, anniversary is right around the corner. There's a lot of things to be concerned with. Uh, maybe use this as a guide before you impulse summon, which many, many will. And I don't even blame you a little bit. Uh, December, nothing has changed. I think the big uh, draws here are probably... Uh, Red and green, honestly. Maybe Faye. Maybe Faye. Celeph is still really good. Minion, I think, is the newest, bestest thing. But more than likely, we'll see something come along in December. And I mentioned before that green is probably going to be the, the new free unit. Whether they're legendary or mythic. I'm assuming probably mythic, based on habits of, of recent years. Um... Yeah, so there's there's that. We got Sigurd and uh, Lolina in red. Faye is in blue. Ninian is green. Claude and uh, the big bald guy down here uh, in Cullis. So if any of those are interesting to you, nothing has changed for December. So stick with that. Uh, Medeas, of course, has Canto Control, so you know. Claude may have been around a little bit. He's still upside down. But Medeas has Canto Control, so it might be helpful. Uh, January. This is where the first thing you're probably interested in is coming back. Veronica is coming back. Color sharing alongside Regan. Oof. Regan, of course, is a free unit that we've got. Uh-oh. Uh... <laughs> Probably not a huge value when you're pulling, because uh, she's basically just merges. Um, Veronica coming back at this time, a little bit rough. A little bit rough. If you want Veronica, pull right now. Literally pull right now. Pull now. Please pull now. It is so much better than what January is going to be. Uh, we also have Arvel coming back. In Cuddleless as well. Uh, more than likely, the new Mythic Legendary is going to be Cuddleless that month. Could be red again, uh, but it's probably not. It's probably Cuddleless. Uh, that is Arvel's first rerun, by the way. So if you didn't pick them up then, you get them now. Uh, I know that Veronica's back. We're probably not seeing that. It's it's a little confusing. Sometimes, most of the time, when we get a new legendary or mythic, uh, they color share with something that is getting its first rerun, i.e., Arvel or Veronica. Here, you have two getting their first rerun. Veronica's coming back too soon. It doesn't really feel right for some reason, but uh, probably colorless for uh, January. Remix, remix is remix. That's what you get. Uh, something to note is that uh, we typically get two remix notices a year around the anniversary and half anniversary. So half anniversary coming up for remix heroes, older legendaries and mythics that uh, get new life breathed into them. Uh, that's going to be happening in February. There's a couple up on the block. I have indicated them with uh, little black question marks just in case. Uh, I don't really know what's happening here. Honestly... I'm more frustrated that Intelligent Systems, ironic name, uh, has bungled my beautifully spaced uh, charts here. And now I have to accommodate four red remix heroes when there's only two? 
That's not smart. And I hate them for that forever. Uh, what's interesting here is that we've got four remix in red. Uh, one guaranteed, two likely for blue. Uh, two for green, and then three for colorless. If I had to take a guess, I would be saying that we're getting two remix banners. Kind of like how we have two revival banners every week. I'm not saying it's a great plan or a great thought or even a good hypothesis, but that is basically what I think is happening. Uh, it, I, otherwise, I don't know. You know, December could roll around. We could have a whole new update. Just all kinds of stuff that we don't know about. They're just like, oh, oopsie. Yeah, we kind of we fumbled a bit on February, didn't we? Our bad. Uh, and then everything goes away and everything is normal and everything is cool and pog. But as it sits, it's a freaking mess. Uh, and I hate it a lot. Anyway, uh, Saros is now coming back in February. Sweet. Um, Robin is also coming back in February. She was slated uh, for a later month. Uh, so just be aware of that. And then everything else is likely very similar to what you know and love. Uh, not much change there. We got March. March is another month that is a little bit curious. Uh, Silica and Bramamond are also up for possible remix uh, around half anniversary, which again is in February. Keep that in mind. Uh, again, three remix heroes for red, four for blue. Why are they doing this to me? I don't know. <laughs> they are literally mirroring, uh, mirroring uh, February. Four in red, three in red, three in blue, four in blue. I don't know. I don't know. I'm bothered. It's 3.30 a.m. and I can't think about anything else right now. Uh, Bram, I've also shifted over here, uh, over to the possible remix, because that's likely where he will end up being. Um, but it's not a guarantee. But basically, if you see anybody in this chart under this month, just know that they will eventually show up somewhere in some fashion. Uh, I don't know how that necessarily will be. Perhaps it is a hero fest. Perhaps it is two remixes. Who knows? Uh, also, Embla is back. Currently the only one on red uh, for Legendary and Mythic that month. Uh, probably going to have a red hero that month. Which kind of also makes me think that we're not going to have one in January, and it will be colorless. So, uh, just a heads up there. Yippee skippy. Uh, what else we got? April. April had a big return. Uh, we saw Nana, we saw Deirdre, and we saw Ash coming back. Previously, we only had Triandra and Bylas showing up. So, a bit of a bit of a bump in April. Um... I still think if you want either Deirdre or uh, Nana, then you should definitely pull for them now because they're co-sharing alongside a lot stronger options than what could be in April. Uh, and it's always better to take the guarantee now uh, than what could be later on. The grass is not always greener. And uh, sometimes it's actually sand and not even grass. So that could be April. So just be aware of that. May, uh, Leaf is another one who's possibly up for a remix, so he's been shifted over to the left. Uh, Sita and Dagger are coming back. Again, if you want Sita, uh, you should probably pull for her now. She's right alongside Deirdre. What's not to love? Uh, June. June, we got the lady coming back. Uh, Corrin got bumped. Micaiah is now coming here. Uh, so two, two colorless ladies uh, in June. Could it be great? Could it be awful? I don't know. Uh, and then July, we saw Hell come back alongside Mira. Uh, and that's pretty much it. If you're wondering what it looks like completely, uh, you can check this out here. Uh, this is what we've got. I'll be tweeting it out. Uh, I will be posting it on Instagram. Maybe. It's very late, and so I don't know if I can figure it out. I am just a bumble full of who knows what. Uh, but this is what it looks like all together. Again, February and March and January, they just, they give me anxiety to a level I can't properly explain. <laughs> but I'm also dealing with the withdrawal that Dragalia lost ended service about two and a half hours ago, and all I have are memories now. Um, just coping with a lot. Coping with a lot. 
hoping with a lottery. <laughs> so your likes on this video are very appreciated. Uh, yes, I will pander relentlessly. Uh, hey, thanks for watching. If you uh, found this helpful or if you enjoyed, if you leave a like. Uh, comment what month you are most looking forward to. I know I tell you to comment on videos. Sometimes they even make mistakes and say things that shouldn't be said. And I've gotten so good at it that it feels very natural at this point. Did I do that in this video? Did I get you? Did I? Perhaps you already left a comment trying to explain to me where I messed something up, but perhaps it was intentional and therefore you baited. it. Who knows? Anyway, leave a comment. I appreciate it. Uh, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Susan YouTube will be very happy if you do, including myself. Uh, and uh, Seven's in uh, comments for Dragoli Lost. That's it. All right. Thanks again. And until then, I will catch you next time.